we're already three quarters of the way down the digital currency pipeline because there isn't really much difference between a credit card or a bank card and digital currency. And the reason I say there's not much difference is because when you use a credit card or a bank card to make a transaction, there's a digital record of the transaction and then that digital record can be brokered. And so far, mostly it's brokered to other corporations, which isn't as totalitarian as it might be because so far, most corporations just want your money so they can sell you things. Now, that can be problematic because you can have things pushed on you by uh, what do you call corporations that are going a little bit farther than they should that you don't really need or want, but at least you get something out of the bargain. But once we're fully digital in our currency, that'll mean the government will be able to track absolutely every bloody thing you ever do and also be able to do things like they're already doing in China. So they, the Chinese government has put expiry dates on some digital currency. So they, you know, if they need to have the population spend more, let's say because there is a recession, they could just put in an edict that would make sure that your money de depreciated by 2% every month so that that would be an impetus to spending. And, uh, and they could do the reverse if they wanted you to save. And so it means, uh, it means in potential the emergence of a system for comprehensive control that's so complete that we can barely imagine it. And, you know, we might say, well, isn't that paranoid? And I would say, uh, look, we still think we were in a COVID epidemic. What we were really in was an epidemic of imitating the Chinese communists. And we ran to imitate them as fast as we possibly could. And that Chinese communist regime, they just re-elected Xi Jinping the other day, um, with a 2,952 to zero margin for the next five years, the probability that he's president for life is extraordinarily high. And so we are in, in danger of using the Chinese Communist Party and its vaunted efficiencies on the energy and environment front as a model for totalitarian governance across the world. You know, we thought when we integrated China into the world economy that the Chinese would turn into Western, a Western democracy. But what's happening instead, I would say, is that because we've invited the Chinese to the table, we're turning into the CCP. Yeah, and people are certainly not, and we're doing it under the guise of this idiot protect the virginal planet environmentalism that's all motivated by this, what would you say, fear-mongering apocalypse, uh, apocalypse that's, narrative. That's probably, the fundamental, that's probably the fundamental question of our time. So that's why we have to say no to all of these things. We have yeah. to say no to CBDCs. We have to say no to digital identity. We have to say no to 15-minute cities because they're all the same thing.